Um, uh, let's see. Viewer Managed Marketplace is first up on the agenda today, and Brooke is here to just give us a short-form update. Yes. So uh, we just released a new project viewer this morning, and – oh, thanks. Um, and I am working on getting the blog post – well, a forum update done so we can get that posted before the end of the day. Uh, so it doesn't address everything, but we're still discussing some of the issues that people brought up. But we wanted to get out what we have changed so we can get more feedback. Um, Are you still intending on doing um, a feedback meeting? Yes, but uh, we will need to decide if we want to address further items before we have that meeting or after, because I think that uh, there may be a couple of things that would be helpful to get done before we have that meeting. Uh, people can go through and give us feedback on what we've done so far, but I want to make sure that everybody's time is used in an optimal way. So. Um, I know that it's impossible for you to come up with an ETA, um, but if you had to fathom a guess, what would your best guess be before that code was, say, uh, available to be merged by third-party viewers? Oh, wow. Um, so there's actually, there's one, uh, there's one issue that we're looking into right now that is, is, a bit of a big unknown. Um, so it could be resolved within a week or it could take uh, a couple of months. So um, so that's where things stand right now. And I think that would be the, um, so adding, you know, two, two weeks to a month at the end of that is, is about, where we'd be, so anywhere from a month to three months out. Okay, the reason I'm asking, and, and Oz, important you know this too, is that um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to have a release out the end of March okay. uh, with everything that we have from you. Um, and I would prefer to be able to release with fewer managed marketplace then because we'll after that we'll be you know two or three months before our next release. So I'd, I'd hate to do the release... Um, without Manage Marketplace and then have you guys release it like a week later and then we have to go three months before we can issue another update with that feature in the view. Got it. Okay, we'll, we'll make sure to coordinate with Oz about that on timing because, um, you know, it may be that we'll be able to uh, open up the code. Well, I guess you have the code in the Project Viewer, right? So Yeah, yeah. Um, there may be, it might be worth discussing whether or not it, it makes sense for you to go out with some of it uh, yeah, generally, sooner. So. Generally, the rule is that we ask them not to put it in a release until we've got it in a release candidate. Yeah. So, um, but you and I can talk uh, about what the issue is and or issues are and how likely it is that they're going to be problems if if we let them merge ahead of then. Um, so that's fine. Uh, because we go into um, a freeze, uh, a code freeze or a feature freeze about a month before a release and, um, and pretty much a, a, a code freeze two weeks before the release where it's whatever we have that's in QA, that's what's going to get released providing it passes QA. And so we'd need to have a little bit of time, even ahead of time, to get that code into the viewer uh, so that we can QA it and how it interacts with everything else that's in the viewer. Um, right. So I'm just trying to, you know, work out how to coordinate uh, our next release and if, if we are going to consider getting Marketplace into that release or just hold it off until another, until the, the following update. Okay, yeah. I'll let me let me chat with Oz and bring him up to date on this and we can um we can 
think about your dates and our dates and how we can yeah, and we'll have work well together. We'll need to have a similar discussion around experiences and avatar hover, at least. Um, those yeah, being, that's, there's those other being, things I got to talk to. You. This is going to be a long one. Oh, sorry, because I got a bunch of stuff to bring up. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, good. Yeah. I I have a, <laughs> you know I, right after this meeting is the first break in meetings I've had in about you know, two working days. So, um, <laughs> well, I just make, make it a little bit longer. <laughs> it, you know, it's, it's not going to be standout in that regard. Uh, okay. Good. Uh, that's, thank you. That's, Brooke. That's, sure. That's perfect. And uh, I'm going to jump off because I have like six hours straight of meetings. And if I don't leave, I won't have any break to, and this is lunch necessary. Time. Thanks. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks um, for coming. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you, uh, and uh, and we'll get that post up, and definitely uh, let people know. Um, we're we're putting it on the forum, so hopefully people will see it a little bit more easily than a blog post. Though we will update the blog as well. Okay, thanks all. Have a good weekend. Okay. Um... Let's see. So just to run through the rest of the pipeline and give you the updates on those experiences, uh, there really is no update on. It's still true that we're working on back-end things that need to be fixed. Uh, and when they're fixed, we'll change the status of the viewer and start pushing it out the pipe. So um, experience tools, um, safe to say we probably won't have that in their next release, given our time limit, time frame. Uh, we might be talking about just under the wire. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, I mean, I. I just. I just don't know. But if you want a feature freeze at the end of February, probably not. Uh, I. I wouldn't place any big bets on it. But I, I haven't ruled out on, on the, the other hand of delaying a release. Uh, well, so that on we the can get this stuff, but yeah. Uh, on the other hand, as far as I know, and I will double check this before and and get it back to you. If if this turns out not to be true, you will hear from me. Um, I'll put something on the on the. I don't know. I, I'll put a note on the on the on the agenda page for this meeting. How about that? But as far yeah. as I know, the. Um, None of the issues that are gating experiences are viewer issues, or at least nothing serious. So if we were to make an exception f for this for this feature and say, go ahead and merge this now, um, uh, what you'd end up with is some floaters and controls in the in the viewer that uh, would be disabled because the simulators you're connecting to didn't have the feature turned on um, until we rolled experiences on the back end and, and enabled it, and then all of a sudden all those features would work. Now, what that would mean in part is that you wouldn't be able to easily test it unless you just did it on a TV and coordinated with us about where it would work. Um, yeah, so maybe we can end up deciding that people can do that and I'll, I will I will dig into that a little bit more closely in fact that's my next meeting but it'll happen whenever we're done with this one okay. um, is to is to try to get caught up on that um, uh, so that's that's what I know today about uh, experience tools um, hover uh, we've had uh, some good stuff with the project viewer. We've had some bugs reported, and Veer is working on them. Is Veer here? I can't. I don't have very much of the list displayed. No, no, he's not here. That's okay. Thank you. Um, that's good. He's off working on the problems. Uh, so there, there's this. There's a couple of bugs that are all variations on. Um, the special code that tries to keep your feet in contact with the ground getting into weird corner cases when you've fiddled with your hover height, especially at the extremes. Um, so uh, 
he is working on those and we'll we'll probably have an update to that and when those are fixed we will probably turn that into a release candidate um so that's coming soon to a to a release channel near you that's certainly something that everybody wants in this release uh yeah i mean that that would obviously be a nice user facing feature to have um group chat uh, we are continuing to work on it. Um, mostly these days, the effort is focused on reliability rather than, strictly speaking, performance. Although on some of the very biggest groups, there are still some times when the performance can get unacceptably slow. Uh, but uh, the big... The big focus right now is that every now and then one of the, and and we're talking, well, the frequency has dropped because we did make some changes, but the, um, some of the servers uh, will, you know, on average, it's now down to less than one a day, uh, get wedged and need to be restarted. Um, but uh, we think we know what that problem is, and we've got some fixes in for it, and we added a bunch of instrumentation around it, and we're iterating on that. So, um, again, uh, from time to time, one or more of the chat servers will get updated, and we will collect experimental data off of it and see if it's better or worse. And we're not going to tell you when that is, but I, I do want to tell you that we're still very actively engaged in that process. Um, on that, if I could make a comment, us. Sure. Um, in the Firestorm support group, we've noticed that uh, it, we're getting lockups of about 15 minutes, and then it clears itself. Yeah, that's one of those. That's, Other than that, we haven't had any dropouts in our groups recently. Right. It's it's actually not that it clears itself; it's that we clear it. No. Oh, okay. Um, but we've uh, one of the things that we've done is that we've instrumented. It so that we don't have to wait for you guys to complain that chat isn't working, um, and then somebody and then it works its way up the escalation chain. Oh, so you guys and have eventually like somebody alarm uh, bells and yeah. lights that so go flashing. We've we've figured out how to detect this programmatically, and and so the operations people get a little alarm, and they and they go to the right wiki page and say, "Yep." When that alarm goes off, we're supposed to do this, and they do that, Excellent. and then your chat group gets fixed. So, Why, thank you. Um, but, of course, the goal is to make it so that that alarm never goes off. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the axioms of the, from an earlier phase of my career that I adopted is that the goal of system management is so that the system manager is the first one that's aware there's a problem. Uh, so generally speaking, by the time you figure out that your group has really given up, um, there's somebody already scrambling to face it. So I would have thought the goal of system management was to not have to manage it anymore. Uh, yeah, well, except that that one's not an achievable goal, so... <laughs> uh, I mean, when well, you've got as many servers as, as we have, uh, you know, even if even if each individual box has a mean time between failure of once every five years, that means we're going to have you know several a week. So, well, all I can say is kudos. It's uh, working much better than it was. Good. Well, uh, we we think so too. Uh, but we certainly appreciate the, appreciate the anecdotal uh, reports as well. Um, and I didn't put this on the list, but uh, on the agenda page, I apologize. Uh, but I'm going to switch back to my list of where the viewers are. Um, so a few updates on other bits of that. Uh, the most important one being the viewer build tools update. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, while viewer managed marketplace managed to just squeak in and get a release candidate out Friday morning before the no change window began, um, 
I didn't manage to do that with a viewer build tools update um, because one round of QA things hadn't happened in time. Uh, but after the long weekend, uh, that will come out, I, unless something terrible happens in the meantime, that will come out as a, uh, as a release candidate. Um, well, if there are things that anyone believes need to be fixed in that that haven't been, um, file See? bugs on, against the project viewer. You need to block the uh, running on XP because it it'll just crash at startup. Well, I, I mean that's I'm not, not actually that. all that different. It's going to end up getting more than one update during release candidate phase. It's not likely to be the next release candidate, even if it's going to be promoted. Um, so, uh, so my concern is is that it'll the viewer will automatically update. And then the person can't even, it won't initialize on XP. Um, so if in we other block words, it. The users will be forced to update and then can't well, log in. Well, no, they won't be forced to update. We never, we don't, I mean, they won't be forced to update to anything derived from that for months. Um, yeah, I don't want a silent failure. And if I can make it less silent, that's okay. But I'm not going to. I'm yeah. not going to hold up going to release candidate for that. Okay. Um, I, I mean, we we said, what was it, six, eight months ago, XP is not supported. This it's not. This is my, uh, it's, my question. It's really this. not supported. <laughs> really. It, well, it's, we mean it. Yeah, I, I get that, but <laughs> it would be nice if you told, you know, I had a, a message when they tried to install it that it's actually not supported. Yeah, that'd be good. And That's I'm what looking I, forward to that patch, and, and it will in, get integrated when, when it happens, maybe even in time for the release. So it's my um, understanding that everything below Vista SP2 will not work, is that right? Uh, I'm still waiting for a report from our QA on that. I have asked for that report. Because I'm just looking at, because I'm thinking about our users, and I'm looking at the OS stats that we have, and that, that's pretty close to about 50,000 people. Well, no, you don't know how many are on Service Pack 1 or 2 for oh, Vista. Oh, that's true. That's okay, right. granted, yeah. Right. We, we don't have the Service Pack level in the, in the stats. Um, and there's no reason not to install those Service Packs and every reason to do it. Uh, so... Um, so yeah, on my patch, I made it so that uh, Service Pack Two is required. If they don't have the Service Pack Two, it won't install. Just like if they're on XP, it won't install. Okay. Uh, Just so you know. Thank you. Uh, um, if we decide that it's not sufficiently terrible to make that restriction, then we'll then we'll tweak it's it. It's easy bit. to fix. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, and I do have that part done. If you want to pull that in, great. Um, well, what I'm going to do is put out the first version of the release candidate without that patch, and then I'll decide. Okay. Whether that's going to be part of this or a subsequent. Um, we've also been getting a bunch of interesting-looking patches um, to do things like remove the need for Bison and Flex from the from the builds, which would be marvelous, especially for Windows build viewers, um, Windows developers, yeah. uh, and Move all I don't the know, they're, they're, SDK. They're, they're right. They're the DirectX thing. There, there are a bunch of those. And what I may end up doing, in fact, probably will end up doing, is that those will be in a follow-on release. So I'll do because okay. I've actually got a lot of. I've been so swamped with. Um, with the uh, tools upgrade and several other things that uh, I have gotten behind on integrating open source contributions. So I'm going to make a real push to do that. Uh, I think we're very close to having the the uh, changes for graphics preferences that Jonathan's been working on working. I'm running my test viewer of that even as we speak. 
although I haven't integrated Jonathan's most recent change, I have got the um, avatar rendering controls behaving correctly. I think I'm going to, when I'm done talking, I'm going to sit here in the standing around and chatting section of the meeting and, and do a little use you guys for testing. Uh, although you you seem to have all arrived with nice low render costs, or almost all of you, so you know, you're I not that so great used. at test audience. Um, I may have to go somewhere where there are lots of blinged out avatars to do my test data, but um, but uh, I think we can see the light on the end of the at the end of the tunnel on that one. So I will once that's in the current open source branch, Snowstorm branch, I will. Call that one closed, start it down the release pipeline, and open a new one and put all of these marvelous improvements to Windows builds and so forth into into that one, and we'll make that a short cycle uh, one. I won't do it as a full quarter long thing like I usually do. I'll try to get a bunch of fixes in. If I could make uh, just a suggestion, uh, when you get to the point where you're going to release officially release um, uh, a build that. Uh, that simply won't run for for XP users and as and Vista SP1 users is to uh, maybe see if you guys can put out a blog post just to oh yeah we will heads up on that before yeah. you do it yeah we will I'll tweet it too okay <laughs> nothing worse than surprises if you, yeah. give, if you give people a heads up on it you know they can grumble and gripe but then they they can't say they didn't have time to to correct their their issue well. They can't say that already because we already told them it wasn't going to be supported. It's been off of the, off. It's been off of the minimum requirements for months, um, and it it got talked up quite a lot when we made that change, as I recall. Yeah, and it'll happen again. <laughs> right. <laughs> it isn't so, until they no longer can log in that it will stop. I know. I know. Which is, which is bluntly. Uh, part of why we don't talk about things we're going to do in the future until we're really going to do them, because it just means we go through one more drama cycle. Um, it doesn't seem to reduce the magnitude of the drama cycle that happens when we actually do it. So, um, drama cycle. I like that. Yes, I've been that to my vocabulary. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Paige. I. Uh, I haven't tried Bogarts yet. I have been using Franks for this testing. It's been really a perfect place to do the testing. I, uh, I don't remember who first clued me into that. It may have even been you, but it's uh, it's terrific. Lots of nicely blinked out aperture. You notice that I'm dressed appropriately for Franks. Um, uh, I bought this outfit at one of the stores there, in fact. Um, let's see. Uh, so the tools update stuff is really coming. Um, really soon, um, but not until it won't come out as a release candidate any sooner than Tuesday because we have a longer than normal no change window for the weekend because Monday is a Linden holiday. Um, those of you who will come to my Monday morning meeting, I won't be there because Monday is a Linden holiday. Um, uh, let's see other things. Um, I have some bugs I'd like to bring up. Okay, just let me make sure that there aren't other... So there have been a bunch of things with the um, the Mesh Importer Project Viewer that's out there. Um, I wouldn't suggest that anybody start merging that code anytime soon. Um, lots of bugs there that need to be worked on. Um, having a project viewer out is working beautifully. We are getting lots of great feedback and preventing lots of problems from reaching people on the release viewers. So the process is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, unfortunately, the software isn't doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. That will get updated in the in the fullness of time. Uh, and I let's see. Do we have any other big news today? I don't think so. So, uh, you have bugs you wanted to talk about? Yeah, a couple. Um, <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> I told you this would be tough. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Bug 6925 
to start with is a Look. pretty big one. Six nine two five. Oh yeah. All right. We just actually were discussing this uh, a couple of hours ago. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll and I'll say again what I said in that meeting. Um, the stage we're at with first of all, we understand that this problem that variations on this problem do exist. This is not a big surprise. We are there, we are not yeah. in denial about this. There's one, a couple okay? related, I think. Yeah. Uh, there, it is almost certainly yes. We we have heard and we believe, um, but it is almost certainly. Um, okay. Well. Uh, Futashi, if that problem exists, that's a different problem. Um, if uh, region crossings or teleports, there, there there are some there are some tricky things that need to happen correctly in order for attachments to behave right. Um, and there are several variations on um, them not behaving right. There is the attachments actually become detached. There is the attachments look to you as though they're detached, but everybody else thinks they are. There is they look to you as though they're still attached and everybody else thinks they're not. Um, are are and, these all things that you guys are like, this is all because these you're mentioning some of the other issues I was going to post. Right. So, so what I'm this is like I'm, a group of things you're working on. Well, we this is the general theme of getting attachments to behave correctly when they go through when, when you cross between regions. Um, one of the things that I, I suspect you guys know better than the average Second Life resident is that there really isn't much different but difference between a teleport and a region crossing. Right. right? And when you because the problem is that everything about you needs to be it's a packaged trip. up, copied over to the other server, and then unpackaged up. Um, there are a couple of extra things that need to happen on a region crossing where we try to make the visual continuity kind of reasonable. Um, but of course, we all know that th that doesn't always work either. Um, uh, I can't, I'm, I'm not following what's in chat for just a second, just so that you know. Um, anyway, uh, with attachments, there are some extra things that happen because you're, you, uh, there are some IDs that get reallocated. So there's the, the ID that an attachment has on, on one region is not identical to the ID it has on the next region. And so what ends up happening is that if things, there are some race conditions. And if messages arrive out of order, then either the viewer or the simulator can get confused about what is supposed to be attached to you. And you can end up with inconsistencies in either direction uh, between the updates, that between the belief of your own viewer and the belief of other people's viewers. Um, so uh, all that, having, that, that background having been put in place, we know that the issue exists. We still have to figure out whether, you know, which of these things is the most important set of issues to to focus on but what we will need to um, actually dig into the problem is um, very specifically um, a specific time and place you know origin region and destination region um, and avatar identity and the viewer log that went with it, uh, preferably at least at info logging level. Um, and, uh, and we need to get that re and, and exactly what attachment exhibited the problem. The, the, the item ID of the. Where would you the, want that reported? On this particular JIRA? Uh, this particular JIRA would be a fine place to report that. So basically, we want to package up that information for each specific incident. And it needs to be posted here within a couple of days at most of when it, that is real world days, not second life days, um, 
uh, of when it happened because the simulator logs don't stay around forever. Right. Um, uh, okay. Right? So, so what we what what is going to have to happen is that we're going to have to um, take that those kinds of reports and go back and try to dig out whether there's anything interesting in the logs. And it's probably true that before we're done with this family of issues, and it's probably a family of issues, not a, it's probably not a bug, it's probably a, a collection bunch, yeah. of problems that need to be addressed. Um, we will have to sort of, you know, wade through that. We may well end up deciding that what we have to do when we really dig into attacking this is to build special simulator versions, put them on a DD, and say, okay, if you think you can reproduce, if you think you've got a repro for this case, go to this pair of regions and go between them until you've made it happen, and then know the very specific exact time that that happened, and we'll have extra logging data to work with, right? Or, okay, or so, um, Katie, Firestorm QA, do you think you can uh, get our beta testers together um, when they experience that to uh, file oh, those things? Uh, but it, because it happened, because Firestorm is, we're now on, on your tip, right? Um, and uh, But we're, I'm not going to be able to get my beta testers to be running the Linden Viewer. But we've essentially the same code and we've got the same bugs. Uh, I, I make no promises. Because I, I mean, no. that's the only way I'm going to be able to get reports to you. I, okay. And I can get you well, lots of them, but it, it, they'd have to be on Firestorm. Uh... <laughs> and the reason for that is because if we're going to put our QA resources into getting you these logs, QA resources right now are in trying to get the next release out. And so I sort of need them to be on Firestorm. Um, I, I'm not, I don't know and um, how soon we're going to decide that this is the most important thing to work on. Uh, anyway, so like if you were to post that report right now, I can say we probably wouldn't do much of anything with it other than maybe go collect the logs and keep them for later. Um, that's a conversation we haven't had yet. Um, so Cause my concern is when we when we issue the next release out with Firestorm and we've got all these attachment issues. Um, people are just going to revert to an older version of Firestorm. And and if that's going to be the case, then I'll be happy to just postpone our release. Well, uh, you, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, I, I mean, that's, that's your decision, not mine. Um, if, okay, I don't believe... I mean, I cross regions and teleport all the time, and this doesn't happen to me, right? So I'm not saying uh, I'm not a heavy, I'm, I'm not, I don't have a zillion attachments. Uh, it's not normal for me to have a lot of attachments. Um, so it's entirely possible that, that I'm, a, I'm a terrible test case. Um, if we're going to focus on this issue, and certainly when we decide that we are going to focus on this issue, we're going to need reports and repros that work on our viewer. That's what we're going to need, period. It, um, it's somewhat random, though, right? I mean, it's we, not we, can, random. we can provide it's... <laughs> a, a repro, and it'll work one time and then not the next. Right. All we need is for it to have worked one time and then be able to say... This is the specific time. Go look in the logs at this time. And the closer to the specific second you can get it, the better. Right? So um, so don't stand at a region boundary and hop from one side to the other 15 times really fast. That's not going to help us because you won't be able to pick out which one it was that caused the problem. Cross a region boundary, wait a minute. Cross a region boundary, wait a, wait a minute. Or teleport, wait a minute, teleport, wait a minute, right? Um, uh, oh, yeah, okay, timestamps are good. The timestamps are really good. Um, so 
uh, especially if the times are well synchronized to simulator times. Um, so, uh, which I, I, unfortunately I can't offer you any, any way to do. Um, so, uh, I don't know. There's the priority of this versus other things is something I, I can't comment on this right this minute. Um, but that's what we're going to need when we get it. Um, now, there's been this whole other conversation going on in chat. I want you to know that unless you want to stop the verbal discussion and give me a few minutes to go back and read it, I have not read any of it at all. Uh, go ahead and catch up, Oz. All right. Yeah, go ahead. I get to catch up, too, so. Yeah, I think we all need to catch up here. <laughs> uh, only if you're going to give me fries to go with the ketchup. I would prefer some I'll give you a fries and a burger. How's that, Ed? Bonus. Bonus. Always bonus. Bonuses are good. Okay, so catching up on some of the old questions here and there. There is a VS 2013 Express, and no, we will not support building with it. There's a community edition, which is functionally equivalent to the pro version that we use, and it's free. Uh, it's, as far as we can tell, completely compatible with the, with the paid version. So... Um, That's yeah. perfectly good enough for me. Which is, which, you know, removes a whole bunch of headaches for everybody. I hope. Uh, okay, because since we merged up to tip, I've had attachments completely detached from me several times without moving. Not sure if that's following your Jira. Uh, really missing really right now. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen Bugs, it's 69, not always 20. on teleports. Oh. It does happen just purely randomly just standing around doing nothing. That's happened to me at least four times since we've merged up to tip. I have not heard reports of that happening on our viewer. I might not have, though. I don't see. I don't triage every report. Um, I told I, I told Lassie about that, our QA lead, and he said that that's an AIS-3 bug and that it's already known. And that's why I didn't file it. Uh, I don't. Un, I don't. I don't see any reason why an AIS three bug would do anything to attachments you were already wearing if you didn't change anything. I, I, I honestly have no idea either. I just know that I was told that it was already known and that it was an AIS three bug. Uh, if you can backtrace that to a specific issue and pass it to me, then I guess we can find out whether or not somebody's done aware of it and doing anything about it. There are some fixes to that working their way through the pipeline. Uh, okay, I'll see if I can get some uh, information out of Lassie then later on. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, to, to your comment um, about teleport process being fragile and incomplete, the teleport process is uh, teleport slash region crossing process is basically the hardest part of Second Life. So if it's not, if it's not perfect, that really, you, if, I, I, 
Uh, I can't show you oh, all the complexity of, of it, but it's just astonishing that it works at all. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> from from a viewer, you know, from from the user's side, they're not seeing behind the curtain. They just right. think, you know, oh, okay, just crossing the line. But right. it's a very complicated process, and I've seen it. I can just imagine how many servers and functions are involved it's, in it's, that process. Uh, yeah, you don't want to, really. So, it, it you would, know, any, it would, any part of it fails, and then all of the rest of the teleports are just going to, you know, compound that failure until you log out or crash or whatever. Yeah. It, I mean, all things considered, it works pretty well, uh, but... That doesn't mean it always works, and it doesn't mean we're not going to try and fix the ones that don't. So we are. Uh, but it, I was just, I was it's just very tempting making to a, making it's an, very a, tempting to conflate problems that seem to have similar systems uh, symptoms, and and they and they really don't have anything to do with each other. So, for example, having attachments detach when you're just standing around that's not a that's not the same problem as the as the problem of uh, uh, that uh, as the as the other problem we were talking about, so um, so we'll see, we'll see, um, we'll get, we will at some point certainly focus on that problem a bit. We've we've had at least one round of the changes on it already. Uh, yeah, making all, all of SL one big region would definitely run into some problems. Uh, we need a better computer. Uh, okay. Did you have any other uh, other ones that aren't attachments um, coming no, off issues? No, most of them are related to the attachment issue. Um, okay. It's a concern because when we release, that's going to be a, a a significant bar from from our user base. I'm worried about um, what we may do, and probably will do, is just a public beta with it. After all, we've just merged. You know everything you have out, and so it's a pretty significant merge. And um, I should think so. Yeah. It. Uh, you were things what, are about going to be broken. Or... Q QA is never going to pass it. <laughs> Our QA is never going to pass it. But I'm I'm just going to sort of release it anyways, and hope not everybody rage quits. Um. um so, but yeah. So anyway, you were you were twelve or thirteen thing. revisions behind. So. We were behind yeah. for a bit. It's big. Yeah. yeah. That's Jessica, amazing. just to confirm, yeah. you were all saying that this issue has only started happening when you merged up to us. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we so just started our last release pretty significantly since we did the uh, the merge. Our last release was just prior to AIS 3. So in yeah. this release, we've pulled in everything starting with AIS 3 and after that. And if you run older versions, you're not seeing this. So it's not it something that happened recently. It wasn't nearly as prominent, no. It's, it's, but so it if seems you, to be in that code base. If you were to run older versions of Firestorm today, you wouldn't see right. it. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, and unfortunately, they're talking about having done everything from our 3.7, what, 12 forward? Nine. Nine. Three seven nine to we're at three seven twenty four now. Yeah, so that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> to like a country. So. <laughs> right. I, I I really think you guys ought to try and find a way to do this in smaller pieces. Uh, well, that's the intent. Yeah, Jess. Now that we're caught up, because the AIS was a, a big thing that was holding us back because it it removes legacy baking, um, and, and uh, so we just sort of dove into it this time. Said, you know what? Let's just get it over with. Um, now that we're well, once we're going to be caught up, it will obviously be a lot easier for us to merge up um, stuff as you guys release them, so we can keep up with you a little bit easier. AIS v3 was was a big uh, bump in the road for us right I get it uh, and I and I understand it which one is that Katie script object oh mm. yeah uh, 7626 SVC 7626 script object attachment doesn't appear to remove worn object in the viewer
Okay, I'm looking at the internal copy here. Uh, Grumpy, don't know how to blame, it, how to uh, break this to you, but uh, they're already saying that. We try to correct them. As a matter of fact, I'd like to uh, uh, get permission yes. from Oz to quote something he said in the beta group the other, in uh, Second Life beta group the other day. Yeah, by all means, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, it it is it is my pol my personal policy that if I say things in in world, I should expect them to be quoted whether I like it or not. But in, in that particular case, I'm sure, I know exactly what you're talking about, and in that particular case, I'm delighted to have that quoted as many places as possible. Thank you much, Lee. My grumpy, the people, uh, users know that, I think more than, ev any, more than ever, uh, it's very apparent that you guys, uh, you guys being Linden Lab, have done a lot of work for SL1, in, in the past year, and a lot of improvements have happened. But uh, what people see is, oh my god, new platform. And so the fear is still the fear, you know. So people think that, people still think that LinLab is going to abandon SL1, and that as soon as SL2 comes out, um, you know, LinLab will just drop SL1 and expect to force everybody over to the new platform. Oh, right, uh -huh. yeah. The 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 folks that are working on the new platform um, would love to be able to say that they're making something so amazing and so wonderful and so much better that everybody will want to move over to it. And oh, Monty's uh, working on it. So. And 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 maybe and maybe that will happen. And and if it does, then you know, Second Life will be this vast empty place and there will be no activity happening here and if we turn it off nobody will notice i don't expect that that will happen and and realistically none of them expect that that will happen right out of the box anyway because there's an awful lot in second life that that will take time to 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 have you know created equivalence for in uh whatever they end up deciding to call the new thing. Um, so it, it'll be, it, it, it'll be time, but if second life continues to be, uh, a sound working environment for people and they're still enjoying it and they're still using it and it's still economically advantageous to keep it alive, uh, why would we turn it off? I mean, it's silly. We won't. Uh, and I think that's going to be years and years. So I really this is just so. my personal opinion. Um, and in the meantime, my job is to continue to make it better, not keep it alive, not keep it limping along, to make it better. Okay? There's a lot of motivational issues among third part of your developers and and it's getting more and more difficult to keep developers active uh, because of the you know oh my god what's going to happen um, and especially given that the new platform is not going to be open source so a lot of devs are feeling like why bother let me just start on something else that has nothing to do with second life well I, um, I, I can't I, I can't comment on on that aspect of it uh, uh, 
you know, I would just encourage people to do what what works for them. Um, and, uh, you know, that's what open source devs always do, whether they're Second Life open source devs or any any other flavor of open source devs. Um, you should you should scratch the itch that's that's bothering you and you should express your creativity in whatever way, uh, you know, floats your boat. Um, so do it. And, uh, I hope you'll consider contributing what you do to us. Uh, I know I've gotten behind on accepting contributions and for that, I profoundly apologize, but, um, I will, I will make an effort to catch up. Um, it's not like you're busy or yeah, anything. I I think we are making it better, actually. I, and uh, it's it's no secret we had a big planning conference in San Francisco last week. It wasn't meant to be a secret. We we did. Uh, we got everybody involved in Second Life uh, get together. We had developers and QA people and support people and operations people and product planning people and business people. And everybody got together and talked about what was working, what wasn't working, various ideas for how to improve things. And it was fantastic. It was really fun. We, everybody there learned something they didn't know when they got there. Um, and we came away with a lot of great ideas. So, and we're going to, we're going to go ahead with some of those ideas. So uh, we're having fun. Looking forward um, to it. And I, and, by the way, just in case any of you missed my tweet on the subject yesterday, or whatever it was, a day or two ago, um, I, got a, I not only got a rec for an additional Second Life developer, I hired an SL resident. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. He hasn't started yet, but he will. Um, Wait, you got and I've got... And I've got open I've got open recs for web developers to work on Second Life too. So if you know anybody, send them my way. Uh, I I could use some web devs too. Actually, uh, it's it's <laughs> it's it's our it's our policy not to uh, not to disclose the identity of residents. So. I'm not well, gonna, you don't right. have to say yeah, who it was, sense. but just was it somebody who works, the, you know, in, in sort of our no community? No comment. No comment. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wanted to openly give you guys a kudos on the snowball fight. Really I was it. impressed. I, and I, were, yeah, I was just going to say. They it did it during our conference, and so I we're missed not it. there. But there were a whole oh. bunch of people who were there for the conference, all standing around and looking at the civilians <laughs> who were in there fighting. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We're was... in the same physical location. Yeah, it was great. Right. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, well, it was a lot I, of fun. And it, I think it's there really were nice six Lindens there, and it was great to see yeah. the Lindens that were I never could get there coming in and playing. And it was just, I, it, it was great I did to the, see. I did the last snowball fight before this one. And I had ball. It was it was really fun. I, and I a was snowball. really unhappy that I missed this one. <laughs> um, Jess, would this be a good time to ask us? Yep. Yeah, I was sort of segueing into that. Um, <laughs> uh oh. With how an long are you guys? How long are you guys keeping the region open? Those four regions. The winter thing. March thirty first. Oh, awesome. March. March good 31st. thing you're here, Grumpy. Okay. I wouldn't have known the answer. Um, and so the next thing is, uh, we're going to expand on your snowfall. We, we accept your snowball fight and we raise you another snowball fight. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, uh, put in an invite, um, to the user base and it'd be nice if some linens showed up to do it again. Uh, well, try to make the invite further in advance than the last one was. Cause yeah, uh, well, but, yeah. what did we sure. say? The 22nd. The day after my birthday? Oh, really? March so you 22nd? Get a whitewash 22nd. Yeah, That's a... It lands on a Sunday. Though, Sunday. Right? Sunday. Uh, and we do that because, you know, us users also have to work. Yeah. Um, it's possible. 
I, I might be able to do that. So send me an invite with a time associated with it. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, blog it. Um, okay. And I, you know how to reach me. Next week. Make, yeah, make, I, I think once so. you've figured it out, you can you can do that. Um. So and, and maybe if uh, oh, in ahead of time, um, and and the uh, public works department did a fantastic job trying to salvage those poor vendors, <laughs> but maybe they can put a few more vendors up. Oh, I, maybe I don't know in some about of that. the other regions. Yeah, it, they, it was it was it, it wasn't the was, vendors actually, as it turned out. Was it just script lag? Yeah. Oh dear. Maybe well, they could put yeah, a vendor they're... in in one vendor in the other three regions because they won't be so lagged. So people can get their guns and then go to. Oh, but it won't work because of the experience. Yeah, because the experience. Yeah. yeah, that wouldn't work. The entire place would have to be it part of the experience the in order to, to work. Made. Yeah. Bummer. Yeah, frame time on the region was over fifty milliseconds. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah the entire it first hour and a half was basically entirely slow motion, like Matrix. Yeah, it was, but cool. it was so great fun. Oh, well, that's that's neat. I love it. Anyway, yeah, um, pass it on to whoever you know had the idea to revive that event. Um, kudos, that goes a long ways. Um, from the community. We will do that. Okay. Um, the community and have more. To see a lemon in a yeah. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Other topics? I actually have one thing. Um, apparently, um, your JIRA doesn't appear to be working on Chrome at the moment, and that's what it's currently giving me every time I try to load your Jira on Chrome. But it works perfectly fine in Firefox. Um, it works fine on Chrome for me. It works yeah. great on Chrome for me. Yeah, for uh, me too. Might be on your end. I don't get it. Well, Chrome was the only thing that, that Chrome was the only thing that Jira worked on for like the longest time, which is why I started using it for Jira, and yet. Now it doesn't work on uh, on Chrome, yet it works on Firefox now. Or to have about twenty eight tabs open in Jira. Um, <laughs> works on this side. Yeah, I right. I mean, I live in I live in Chrome, and to, uh, to be, I'm on Jira be, all day long, every day. So, to be fair, that amount of tabs in Chrome is actually absolutely nothing compared to the 700 tabs I have in Firefox. And it works in Firefox. Yeah, no, I suspect that's not your problem, but... Uh, oh, I know. I, 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 I would guess that like you've got a... I would guess really that you've needs got a... needs a Jira just for her bloody tabs. I, I, she does. At, Database. At a guess, I would say check your Java installation. Ah, uh, that might be it. I don't think I reinstalled uh, Java after uh, after I updated to Windows eight point one. That's it's just a guess. Why but... would why would you need Java to look at the Jira? I I would just say to check it. Depends on which features of Jira you're taking advantage of. Uh, but anyway, it does work on Chrome. Or at least for Lindens, because most of us use Chrome. Okay, uh, fair enough. Grumpy, that <laughs> doesn't surprise me. love to see what her me. brain looks like. I, I want to clone her. If we could clone Whirly even five times, that would solve most of the world problems. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, other topics? I'm, I do have a, a request um, with the work. I'm trying to clean up the uh, Windows installer and yeah. you know, combining things together. Um, I'd like to know what the expected behavior is, like when we uninstall, uh, what directories and folders and files get removed. Oh, right. You sent me with. email about this and I haven't yeah. responded to it. Um. Because right now it looks like the part to clear out, like the cache and all that, is commented out. Right, there is no uninstall. There is, in fact, it's a spectacularly bad idea to clear out of the cache. On um, an uninstall? So, 
on I'm not talking about like re I'm not talking yeah. about reinstalling. Because people uninstall and reinstall, I I want the cache to still be there when they do that. Um, There's a Torley video okay. still on the internet with Torley recommending to people to clear their cache every time they have a problem with the viewer. Uh, That's a that horrible idea. It yeah. seriously it, well, needs to die. <laughs> Nothing Sorry, on the... It's not possible to kill things on the internet. Um, oh the... Yeah. Uh, well, uh, okay. So, there have certainly at times been bugs in the cache handling that caused corrupted things to end up in the cache, and that and corrupted things sometimes cause bad problems. I don't think we have all that many of those anymore. And it's it's also right. true that there's, as you all know, there's there are multiple caches, and, and the effect is very different. So there are cases of problems with inventory that will be solved by getting out of the viewer, nuking your your inventory cache and then starting the viewer up and sitting still somewhere until everything loads. Um, for example, um, clearing the image cache is almost certainly a bad idea. Um, it's just going to make your performance worse for a while. Um, it's pretty rare that those cause serious problems these days. Um, but, yeah. um, but I prefer that the, uninstall probably not do that um, well i was looking at it from the standpoint of somebody uninstalling because they don't want to use it anymore so we clear up you know, yeah, the disk space. If, if we were if we were among the worst offenders for windows programs that leave a lot of stuff behind on your system i well, would be worried 10 about gigs that. is quite a bit okay it shouldn't be hard to find um, <laughs> well what wouldn't it make sense well, actually if if that is actually a problem, wouldn't it make sense to have an option in the Thank installer you, or pop-up That's what that I was just going to... Yeah, I can try and look into that. Uh, in the uninstaller, maybe, but... Um, right, right. Not, not for... people a... expect uninstalls to just run. Um, it should, should certainly not destroy things like chat logs. Oh, yeah. That's no, it shouldn't even fine. offer you the opportunity to do that. No, don't because delete app data roaming, just app data local. Oh, right, or it, whatever it is, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will try to respond to that email sometime soon. But I, no, I was also noticing, so. yeah, I was also noticing that it was um, backing up files that are in program data, and I can't figure out what it's actually backing up because I don't think the viewer is actually writing anything to there. There's no folder to back up. It may be so thinking, doing some. It may be some old code. Yeah. Well, there's code in there for pre-NT. <laughs> right. When I mean, if there's, I'm gonna, if there's stuff yes. that if you if there's stuff that you know you think we can just delete, then yeah, I'll do probably it. do but that. Try to do that as you know discrete commits in Separate the same repo, commits, and we yeah. can so that they're easier to review. Um. Also, I'm going to combine all the, uh, there's several calls to delete specific files, like skin folder or uh, Vivox logs, etc. I would prefer to combine those into all one and still keep the comments. But, you know, instead of making, f I think there's seven calls to different uh, JIRAs or whatever. It's kind of a mess. Just be easier to read if they were all in one call. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we should just rewrite the installer altogether. <laughs> I was kind well, of thinking on that. Because uh, we could do I mean, a newer look, UI. I, I, would be, worms. I would be I would be happy to entertain such a such a thing if somebody thinks there's a way to do it that's significantly better. Um, you know, let's uh, well, I mean, look at Firestorm 64-bit installer. That thing started off as a piece of junk during 4.5.0 and 4.5.1 beta, but that thing's absolutely amazing now. Nikki's yeah. done well, a lot of work on that. Amazing is good. Uh, so, for what? She also she also made it so that you could have 
different channels installed with it. It was that that was one of my greatest greatest moments of being a part of the fire. Oh yeah. Well, Nikki is somewhat of an exceptional person. <laughs> we use uh, the MSI installer for our 64-bit instead of NISS. Yeah. And it works great. It's actually I quite a bit MSI faster can be than the EXE. Bit, though. It can't? Hmm. I think that was the problem. That's why it's only in our 64-bit. I've actually had a couple of our beta testers ask, why do we actually use that 64-bit installer? Why don't we do, like, Singularity and use the 32-bit installer for it? And I don't actually have an answer for that. Uh, there is a reason for it, I just don't remember what it was, but Nikki mentioned something about it some time ago. Yeah, I know she did at some point a long time ago. I think just after I became a member. Well, that was a long time ago. I'll have to find um, her and ask her. I have uh, <clears throat> nothing else. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, and we will see you in two weeks. Have okay, a have a good one. Have a good weekend, folks. Take care. Thanks, Hush. Not bad, only eight minutes over. <laughs> Really? Oh, Oz, I did have one other thing for you, actually. What's that? Um, I'll take half your snow if you'll take half of the cold temperatures that we're having. <laughs> oh yeah, totally trade you. Absolutely. 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 We're gonna we're gonna get down to negative numbers Fahrenheit this week this weekend. Oh, well, our highs and, our, and get our, 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 our highs for the day are in the negative numbers Fahrenheit at the moment. Thank oh, you. Oh yeah, I, I I went to college not far from Ottawa, so I I. I'm, we were part we of the road to minus. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we were down to almost minus forty last night with the wind chill, and if you know the conversion we had a record factor, high minus forty is yesterday. minus forty. Yeah, I know. I, I oh, just muted that. tanks. I, I just muted tanks, so <laughs> I, I don't have to bother oh, hearing them babble anymore. I was a little uncomfortable going out to get the mail in my tank. Yeah, not nice. This is why you put the mailbox on the side of the house next to the front door. Or have no, a slot in the door. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't put a slot in the door, because if you do that, you're just going to let all that cold air in through the slot in the door. Well, that's what I need to cool my PC. That's what you get an air conditioner for, or punch a hole in the side of the room. That's what I did. Actually, I just leave my window open, but yeah. Thank you, do what I, I would, do. I would leave my window open, but there's a broken air conditioner stuck in mine right now that would be running at this exact moment if it wasn't frozen stiff. I keep my computer under my window, and I leave the window open just to crack. And cold air falls down onto it. I use my I have a white PCs to heat my room. <laughs> <laughs> I literally I one no, PC. I literally have the heat register blocked off in my room. My window is open about an inch wide. It's thirty Very below depressed. overnight, and I'm just comfy. I remember when I still had my compile rig running. That bloody thing kept the place really hot, and that really sucks when you live in the attic. Yeah, it gets quite warm here in the summertime. We don't have air. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, it's good to see you here today. I haven't seen you in a while. And you were really quiet. Who? Ash. Ash snuck in halfway through. Hmm. Yeah. And I think Ash is AFK.
All right. Um, I have to go. I will be back Same here. to do. Thanks for your time, Oz. Video. No problem. Right, so you want? Thank you for being my little test to audience here. I've been I've been rendering and de-rendering you all. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you'll like the I'm, new version of the of the visually muted avatars. Oh, do you, do you want me to put something on that's going to raise my? Uh, uh, no, I, 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 I have a good enough selection here. I've been playing with oh, it. Number oh, don't worry about it. He hasn't seen my avatar the entire time I, that he's been here. No, I guarantee I haven't. it. Uh, See, you're what? One hundred and you're at one hundred and forty-six thousand and something for me. I, had, I didn't try raising it up that high. I have no idea what the hell that means. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing um, I know is, is that I'm wearing a pony, and I'm happy enough with that. Uh, the only thing I know is that once we merge in that automatic thingamabobber that mutes people, or de-renders people, I will never be seen ever again. Yeah, I'm trying not to use the, the term de-render, because that implies, for me, that that would imply that people disappear. We're actually moving it, yeah. And... and and uh, that isn't that isn't the effect. It just you you are a kind of dark purple outline figure. Blob. Um, I'm a well, purple blob. Not a blob. I get the shape. The shape is is correct. Imposter. Um, there it's you go. just that it's just that no, I'm not using the term imposter for it either, because imposter <laughs> imposter is the thing where we skip some of the shader passes and but we do apply the textures. And but the lighting isn't quite right, so you look flat, and you don't get. Depending on how far away you are, you don't get um, updated as often. So that's what an imposter is. Um, Cardboard cutouts. So this is I described the, them to users. The um, the new thing is yeah, they're they're sort of like cardboard cutouts. Although visually, for me, that's not as big. A, that's not nearly as big a distinction. Most of you look that I that are being rendered fully look pretty reasonable even though i've got it set so that i know some some of the you that are further furthest away are imposters but um but you know at that distance there's there's not that much detail anyway so it's perfectly it's perfectly good um but you know at the setting i've got you now a bunch of you are being rendered as what what uh what whirly Double dubbed the jelly baby rendering, which is you know you're just one color. The textures aren't applied. Um, is that going to be the official for, term for them? Uh, no, visually <laughs> muted avatar. Yeah. That's and... the official term. Uh, so far, anyway. Um, so so I'm, I'm trying to get it, I th and I think I've got it working now. Um, actually, this, this is it's amazing, but it, the version I built immediately before this meeting. It's, um, is is the first one that has worked in the last few rounds of changes. So I'm checking this in, um, and uh, wow, and it's a it's pretty good. Cool. All right, no. well, I'm out of here. Thanks, Oz, and we'll uh, make sure you get an invite. Oh yeah, I'll I'll try to be there. Um, there are some things happening that weekend that may make it complex, but we'll see. Right. Oz. Yeah. Bye, cool. Oz. Um, if there's any other changes you want done to the installer for Windows, let me know, and I'll see you about doing it. Okay. Oh, just shoot me an email or something like that. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll do that. Probably not okay, before thanks. Monday though. At this point. That's fine. All right. I'll work on cleaning it up and reorganizing, not really changing any actual behavior over the weekend. Cool. And Frank, right, if so. you need any testing done, let me know. Yeah, I I still have my. There was a lot of help machines. last time. Yeah, no problem. Okay, take care, everybody. I got to get on to work. See you later, Tank. Oh, Oz poof, but Brian asked. Oh well. <laughs>